Welcome. I'm thrilled that you've joined me on numerologist.com. I'm Elizabeth Harper. I'm here with this week's angel messages. So our messages this week are about asking questions. Do you have a question? Maybe that answer will come to you right now through the connection with your angels. Are you ready? Place one or both of your hands over your heart. Invite your angels to guide you to message one, two, or three, a message that comes from their heart to yours. What you can also do is intuitively move the cursor along in the video and the place where you stop there is a message, an extra message for you from your angels. All right, you ready? Okay. So we have three cards. Which one is going to be for number one? What do you intuit? What do you feel? Where is it? Feeling like it's here. Okay, this card says, yes. <laughs> yes, look at that. See, there's a rainbow. Rainbows signify wholeness. You have everything you need. Everything's available to you. All the answers are right there. There is a door that is opening up as well. And look, it's a white door and it's a black handle. So we'll get to that in a moment. And then on the other side, there is the sky. There's freedom that's right there. And the message is, is the answer to the question that you are seeking? Yes, is the answer to the question that you are seeking? So that yes. Yes is a positive word. So it's very much about something around positivity. So your angels are saying to you, it's time to open up that door. It's time to see the freedom that's on the other side. It's time to see that you have all the answers to all the questions. That's the rainbow. Even though we don't realize it, we think that we have to look outside of ourselves for the answer. And believe you me, I do exactly the same thing. But in truth, the answer is within ourselves. We already know the answer. And that answer is, according to the angels right now, yes. But it could just be that it's, what does the yes feel like for you? What does that yes feel like? And go with that. If that yes feels like freedom, then that's the right answer. I also feel with this that it's black and white. So it could be that it's either a moving forward towards it or it's moving away from it. Notice that. How do you feel? You could even use your body to ask that question, is this right for me? And see if your body moves towards it or if your body moves away from it. Your body's a pendulum. You can use it as a pendulum. You can use it as a, a guide for you when you have a question. You just have to get yourself out of the way, clear your thoughts and allow your body to support you. Allow your guys to support you, your angels to support you. Ask them the question and remember they are an aspect of you. Everything is energy, so they are an aspect of you. Whatever answer you get, it has to feel right for you. But what the message is, is about the answer that you are seeking provides freedom for you. So it's going to feel like it's complete with that rainbow. It's going to feel like there's freedom with the sky. It's going to feel like you're opening this door up and everything on the other side just feels really good for you. So I love that. Okay. Our next card number two. Which one is it? What do you feel? Oh, no, it's this one. <laughs> So this is now. What was your question? The answer is now. So when you look at that, she is looking out to the ocean. And the ocean is very much about flow, isn't it? The water is flowing. It's back and forth. It's flowing. It's always flowing. So she is sitting in this place of watching this flow back and forth. Present, moment, time to live. So when you're in this now, this is where your power is. This is where you are. This is where your core is. You're grounded in this present moment, in the now. So I feel that your angels are saying, you know, anything that you need, you need to focus on 
being in this present moment first. Don't look too far into the future. Don't worry about the past. Come into this present moment. This is where you are. This is where your power is. This is where the divine is. This is where you need to be in alignment with the now. When I look at that card, when you look at the card and there's the person there looking at the ocean, looking out at the ocean. Have you ever looked at an ocean and there's a horizon that's there and you can't really see beyond the horizon? I feel that your angels are saying, don't worry. Don't worry about what's out there. Focus on where you are right now. Because when you focus on where you are right now, then you can take in all the wonderful beauty, all the blessings that are around you. But when you start focusing too much into what's on the horizon, then you miss out on everything that is in your life right now. You forget the blessings. You don't receive the love. You're too focused elsewhere. You're not grounded. So I feel that your angels are saying ground into the now. Absorb the wonderful energy that is around you and just notice the flow because everything's going to come in and it's going to move out. It's a little bit like breathing. You know, you take an energy in, you move an energy out. But do it in this now and don't be too focused on where you're going or that next step or what's far into the future. Just focus on the here and now. And when you focus on the here and now, you watch, you observe that energy around you and then you'll know the right time to step in to that next step. Ooh, I love that message. <laughs> you know, the messages come as inspiration from my angels to you. So just again, to open your heart to whatever resonates for you. Our final card is believe, believe. <laughs> I love that. So when you look at this, this person is, it's a little bit faded. It's almost like there's a, a soft, gentle quality that's there looking into the light and maybe just believing that the angels are there, that the guides are there, that there is something wonderful that is awaiting that person. Or maybe that there is something wonderful right now. It's to believe that. So it says, keep the faith. Believe in self and others. Sense of knowing. So sometimes, you know, we worry about things, don't we? Do you find that? Are you worried about something? Are you worried that you're not doing something right or being the person that others expect you to be or that you don't have something to offer or that you're not good enough or you know all of these different things and I feel that your angels are saying believe in yourself you are an amazing soul you are an amazing being believe in yourself believe in us believe that we are there with you to support you and whenever you ask whenever you ask for support whenever you ask a question whenever you ask for for guidance. Your divine team, your spirit team are right there with you. They are right there surrounding you with love, supporting you, guiding you, nurturing you, and really helping you to be your true self. So I feel that this message is about you believing, not just in your guides and angels, but in yourself as well believing that you can do it, that you can achieve anything and everything you put your mind to. If it's in your highest and greatest good, you will most certainly achieve whatever it is your heart desires. And what your heart draws you to something, you know, your heart desires something, it draws you to it. And sometimes we have this image of what that's going to look like. And I feel your angels are also saying, let go of the image and just allow yourself to move into that place of believing that everything is as it's meant to be. Everything has divine timing. Everything falls into place at the time it's meant to fall into place. And I feel with this, you know, when I look at it, that 
this image of it's like a solid person and then there's all this soft gentle energy around it's like a painting that hasn't quite been filled in and I feel part of this message is believe it's going to be filled in that maybe you've just got part of something at the moment but the rest of it is coming believe it <laughs>